Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Steven from Wave Plastic Surgery and today we have an exciting Q&A session about NAD Plus Therapy. We've gathered some of the most frequently asked questions, so let's dive right in. Isn't NAD too large to be absorbed directly by the body? It is true that NAD Plus is a relatively large molecule, but it's certainly not unique in that respect. Many molecules involved in human metabolism, particularly enzymes, are as large or larger than NAD Plus. Recent studies have shown that IV delivered NAD Plus can increase mammalian cell function and neuron communication. NAD Plus molecules likely enter cells through gated channels in the cell membrane, though there's ongoing debate whether the intact NAD Plus molecule or its smaller constituent molecules are transported. So the question is, I am trying to find out whether or not I should take the supplement or do the IV. Can you explain the big difference? We prefer intravenous delivery because oral supplements of NAD Plus are rapidly degraded by the intestinal flora and the liver enzymes. So intravenous administration is the most efficient and effective route to rapidly raise and maintain intracellular NAD Plus concentrations, providing quicker and more noticeable benefits. Is NAD plus pregnancy safe? There's evolving research in animals suggesting that supplementing NAD plus levels in utero may improve fetal growth and reduce birth defects. Some clinics in Europe and Asia advocate for low levels of NAD plus during pregnancy. However, the pharmacokinetics of NAD plus transport across the placenta in humans aren't well understood. Therefore, we currently do not recommend intravenous NAD plus administration for pregnant women. Is the recommended dosage 100 milligrams per week the same for IM as it is for IV? No. The recommended dosage of 100 milligrams per week is specifically for the intravenous IV administration. The dosage and method of administration can vary significantly between IM and IV, as IV is more efficient for rapidly raising NAD plus levels. What dose do you give intramuscular? The dose for intramuscular or IM administration of NAD plus can vary based on individual needs, but we typically administer a dose that's carefully calibrated to each patient's specific requirements. But for more detailed information, it's best to consult directly and call our call center number, uh, which will be provided in the description below. How long does NAD plus remain in the system after a drip? The effects of intravenous administration of NAD plus can last up to 14 days, depending on the dose administered and the patient's age, size, and health status. Do we need to take this every week or every month? The frequency of NAD plus infusions can vary based on individual needs and goals. Some patients may require weekly infusions initially, while others may switch to monthly maintenance doses once optimal NAD levels are achieved. It's best to discuss a personalized plan with our medical team. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this Q&A session has answered all of your questions about NAD plus therapy. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. See you next time.